Hey everyone, it's Jim Classic again, and you are watching Geekin' It. Before I talk about the Wonder Woman movie, because I just came from that um, two months late, or a month late, or whatever, but I, I, I just came from um, seeing Wonder Woman in the theaters for the first time. I know I'm late, but whatever, you know, life happens, which I'm going to get into in a minute. Um, I wanted to talk about something real quick. I was hoping by now I would have about three videos, maybe four videos done, um, but that didn't happen because, you know, we've had some interesting things going on, you know, work, my job, which, you know, that does take priority, and also on uh, July 1st, um, our, our dog um, passed away. So we had to put him to sleep. He had a heart murmur. He was having trouble breathing. And, you know, my wife and I just decided, you know, we had, we had to put him to sleep. And um, so, you know, that kind of puts a, a stopper on a lot of things. And, um, you know, my wife's had him for 16 years. You know, he was a little dachshund, a little, little dumb, a little dumb little leader dog. And, he, and I loved that dog, but he was dumb as a brick. But, you know, it, it's just... Yeah, you, you you know what happens when a pet dies, they're family, and, you know, you really do feel the loss. So, you know, I'll, I'll be doing, like, a little video thing for him eventually once once I can sit down and actually do it. But, yeah, so that, that was a big delay, you know. You, you don't really want to do a video or do things, you know, after that. But, anyway, so, yeah, that, you know, our, our little Sherlock, you know. You know, he was a good dog. And he will be missed. Anyway, um, I did say I might do like a, an unboxing of the Lego Batman movie of the Lego Batman movie um, right here, and um, I didn't do that because I had some friends over. I eventually watched it. I opened it up anyway, but yeah, the DVD Blu-ray of uh, Batman Lego Batman, which is the Target version, which comes with a little um, Batgirl inside, and I'll just I'll take that out. I'll show that to you right now. We got Lego Batgirl here in the package. It's a, she's just a minifigure. Um, but. And here we have it. It is Lego Batgirl, and she is actually pretty damn cool. Um, you know, little Bat, you know, Batgirl outfit. She's kind of, like, I guess, reminiscent of, like, maybe the old um, Adam West TV series. You know, she even has a little ponytail that comes out of the cowl. Uh, she comes with uh, she comes with two batarangs. She comes with two batarangs, and for some reason she comes with an extra bat belt. Um, might have just been a mistake. I, I don't really know, but um, you know she's a cool little Lego figure. I like her. You know, nicely painted little bat crest. Uh, even behind the cape, you see a little bit of the the detail behind the cape. And um, funny, the weird thing is, you take off the helmet. <laughs> take off the helmet. And she just has like the purple hooding, and she also has an alternate face. Uh, this is the angry face right here, and then we turn it, we turn the hand, we turn the head around 180 degrees, put the cowl back on, and now she's kind of winking and smiling. So this is pretty cool. Um, on a, on a semi-related note, you know, I also got Arkham Asylum Joker, <laughs> and I also got um, Wolverine Batman, <laughs> which um. You know, that was one of the many costumes that you briefly saw in the movie. So, that was, um, that was the Lego Batman, uh, mini Lego figure. Oh, yeah, also the postcards. So, here we have Lego Batman at New York City. <laughs> And then we have Lego Batman and Lego Robin in front of Lego Taj Mahal. And um, and this one I, I'd rather erase from my memory, but we have uh, Vacation Batman in Coca Copacabana. Yeah. Yeah, there's that. They, they did that. So that was that with Lego Batman short and sweet. Anyway... I just got back from seeing Wonder Woman. Um, wow. Clearly, in, in my opinion, and I, and I would imagine in most people's opinion, I don't know, the best of the DC movies. Wonder Woman was amazing. I, I mean, it, it was a good... I like the setup with um, 
at, at, at Paradise Island. I'm I'm calling it Paradise Island because I always screw up the name uh, Themyscira. I'm always screwing that up. Paradise Island. Um, it was a good setup. You know, I I, I liked. It, this reminded me of. Let me let the cat out. The movie reminded me of Thor, the beginning part, with you know her with young Diana growing up on uh, Themyscira, you know, growing up as a child, and just just the mythology, not not necessarily the growing up part, but the, just the mythology behind it of her living on the island, kind of reminded me a little bit of Thor uh, before he was exiled to Earth in the beginning of the movie. And then we get move on to World War One, and that kind of reminded me of Captain America. So I, I think. Wonder Woman was kind of a good mesh of both Thor and the first Captain America movie, and uh, I'm not complaining. I, I just I loved it. Um, I thought Gal Gadot made a good Wonder Woman. I thought she made a great Wonder Woman. Um, she was definitely defiant as a young child, you know, and she was trained to be the most powerful Amazon on the island, even though the mother didn't want her to go out and kind of make her own. So yeah, uh, I thought Gal Gadot made a great Wonder Woman. I mean, I, I, liked, I, I loved her in Batman vs. Superman. She was one of the few things, in my opinion, which really saved that movie for me. Aside of the fact from Ben Affleck's Batman, Gal Gadot's Wonder Woman saved Batman v Superman. And she really owned the Wonder Woman movie, too. I mean, she, she made a great hero. She, you know, she was beautiful. Let's, let's not kid ourselves here. You know, she was stunning. And I would say she, she was a compassionate character, you know, very empathetic. She was always trying to save the little guy, and, and that's, that's, that's what a hero is. And that, that, the movie was fantastic. I, I loved the cinematography. I loved Paradise Island, how lush and green and lively it was with the glowing water and all that stuff. And then we moved to London, and then everything's in grays and browns. And it's like, you know, that's how we all envision London during that era, and... That was fantastic, you know. Her, um, the whole like montage of her getting, you know, finding an outfit and all that, and just uh, kind of like the culture shock that I think she must have experienced walking around in London, and you know, I, and and I think she, uh, Gal Gadot and Chris Pine really played off of each other pretty well. I mean, you know, uh, he was her introduction into this world, and you know, I mean, I I got the vibe that there was something real going on there between those two. Um, the acting was great on all... The acting was great for everyone. Um, uh, the, the action scenes, oh my god. I mean, I, I just started going nuts when they're at the front, at the, in the trenches, and they're like, that's no man's land. You don't go out there, you know? And she just glory charges and the shield out and the machine gun and then let the... Um, um, Chris Pine, I forget who he played, Trevor or something, John, Tre Steve, 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 Steve Trevor, I think it was, you know, he comes out to the rescue with his, um, with his posse, and, I mean, they saved the day, they saved the village, um, I loved it, it was so goddamn cool, I mean, I, I, you know, when she, like, body slammed into the tank and just knocked it over and destroyed that church when she, like, hopped, hopped off of the, um, hopped off of Chris Pine's back, <laughs> I mean, I was, I was genuinely just laughing and just, like, I was really, really rooting for her. Uh, um, I mean, there's a lots of things, you know, that I loved about this movie. You know, the ending did kind of remind me of Captain America a little bit. I'm not going to really go into the ending too much, but uh, there was so much about this movie I loved. This was, this was such a home run, and this really, really made the DC Cinematic Universe look good. You know, where Man of Steel did nothing for me. Batman v Superman was okay, you know. Like, I, I've already gone into my thoughts about that. Suicide Squad, I liked it, though it had its problems. Wonder Woman, it, it, it was it was a home run, it was a slam dunk, it was a perfect victory, it, it was everything. Uh, this is this was a perfect example of a, of a good comic book movie. And, you know, I mean, not now, obviously I'm not a woman, but I would even say that Wonder Woman's portrayal in this movie made a good role model for women. I mean, th th this is the type of character that I think, you know, young girls should should want to be like this, this empathetic, this 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 courageous and daring, and, and even maybe even defiant and just uh, someone, you know, a, a woman who who is trying to 
carve her own legacy out. And and, and I, I I would say, you know, if I had a daughter, this is this is the kind of movie I would want to show her, you know. And um, you know, I'm I'm not going to go into too much on this, but you know, going back to Ghostbusters 2016, how some people were saying, oh, this is empowering to women. This is these are these characters are great role models for women, and it's like. Okay, well, Ghostbusters 2016 taught women that they can be shallow and boy crazy, and they can get away with murder, and uh, you know, never face the consequences. Th those are the role models of the Ghostbusters reboot, where where Wonder Woman is everything you would want in a role model for for young girls. And I'm getting all right. I'm done with that, but <laughs> um, I, I think that is everything I want to say about Wonder Woman. You know, I, I cannot wait till this comes out in DVD. I'm I'm going to add this to my DVD collection. I, I will proudly display it. This was a great movie, and um, I guess I'm looking forward to Justice League. Um, you know, I mean, you know, we had Man of Steel, then Batman v Superman, and as I said, Batman v Superman sounded felt more like a part three instead of a part two. And, uh, and then we have, you know, Suicide Squad, Wonder Woman, and then for the fifth, that, was that fifth? Pfft, I lost count already. And, and then for the next movie, it's going to be just, just jump right into Justice League. I don't know how I feel about that. No, I, I do know how I feel about that. I still think DC is panicking. They're so desperate to catch up to Marvel that they're just going to jump right into Justice League. And not have any more individual, um, any characters, any individual characters movies. Like Cyborg might not get his own movie, and Aquaman will get his own movie. They're just gonna jump right in. And if if Justice League is gonna be anything like Wonder Woman, then then fantastic, then great. Uh, I'm I'm hoping that Wonder Woman is not the one shining diamond out of the mess of movies that they have already. All right, that's it. You know, <laughs> way to end on a real pep talk right there. I don't know. But uh, like I said, Wonder Woman, loved it. Go see it. If it's not already no longer in the theaters, but buy it on DVD. Whatever. I love the movie. I'm Jim Classic, and you've been watching Geekin' It. <laughs>